So what is the darkest lie in the Philippine uh, with the Filipina that you already encountered and that you want to avoid? Okay, the darkest lie a Filipina can tell you to me. Hey, what's up, Tinkaus? Welcome back again to another video. For today's video, I have here Mr. Mike again. If you see our previous video three months ago. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while. So I hope you check that. And then this time, I have him again. <laughs> she has me again. Well, yeah. thanks for having me on your channel. Your channel's grown. I see you have some nice videos. One had 40 plus uh, thousand views. Good job. That's yeah. hard to do. Yeah, that's nowadays. really. I, I don't really expect such views like that. Mm, well, take them before. It's really them. hard to reach one k views, <laughs> <laughs> but then I reach forty plus. Forty plus. Yeah, years. that's great. That's great. It's really thankful. <laughs> okay, without further ado, uh, you want to say hi first? Oh, hi. I'm Mike <laughs> from Philippine <laughs> Retirement. And also check out our new channel, yeah, the Maggette Rentals. The Maggette Rental. That's so Janet's glad. project. How you find Filipina interesting? How do I find the Filipina interesting or Philippines? So it's the Philippines that found you interesting. The Philippines. My, f I had a wife that was a Philippine American, and in Las Vegas there's a very large Filipina community, and. While we were married and dating, I met her uncles and family and friends in, the, in Las Vegas. And I really liked their culture, how they loved the birthday parties, how they really celebrated the children, uh, the family values that they had. And after, you know, in the U.S., divorce is part of life there. After we divorced, and by 2015, I decided I wanted to live in the Philippines. And I started researching, watching YouTubes. And uh, I, I just decided I wanted to move here. And I retired just as COVID hit, so I got stuck for a couple more years. But the Philippines has shown me everything that I wanted. All my expectations have been met here in the Philippines. So it's not really your intention to have a relationship with a Filipina? My intention was to meet a Filipina, have some good times with some Filipinas. That was my intention when I first came here. So and if that is your intention, why you don't find Filipina interesting? Well, I find the Philippines interesting. I find them beautiful. They're very, they're very exotic looking. Uh, I love long hair. I, I like shorter women, uh, more petite women. And uh, I do find them very interesting. And I think it's so cute, the accent they have when they speak English with their Philippine accent. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Just like yours. Thank you. <laughs> So why does foreigners really love Filipina who have long hair? It's just exotic. You know, uh, you watch these movies, Mutiny on the Bounty, and the, the, the exotic girls, Polynesian girls, Pacific Islander girls, they have the long, beautiful black hair. They have the nice complexion, which is darker. Men like women that, uh, not men, but me, I like women that are, in the U.S. that were tanned, a little bit darker complexion. And here in the Philippines, they all have a beautiful complexion. They're scared to get too dark, but mm -hmm. their basic complexion is just just beautiful. As, as a physical beauty, Filipinas are gorgeous. And if you look at all the Miss Universe contests, all the beauty contests around the world, there's so many Filipinas that have won the title of Miss Universe or been in the top three. They're just very, very beautiful women. That's very true. <laughs> That's very true. That's what attitude of a Filipina that captured your heart? They're caring. Now, I'll tell you a story. When, everybody knows I'm with Janet. And the story with Janet, when we, were first, when we first met, I think it was about two weeks in, I text her in the morning, and we would always say, okay, today I'm going to go into town. I'm going to go, go grocery shopping. And she had a job. She would go to her job. One morning I said, I'm staying home today. I don't feel well. Well, 10 minutes later, there's a knock on the door. 
are you okay? Are you okay? She was definitely worried. She thought like I was deadly ill, but I, I just had a little headache and I just wanted to relax around the, the house that day. But the caring that she took to take off from work to come over and take care of me because I had a little headache. What girlfriend would you have in the States that would leave her job and come to your house just because you have a headache and not feeling well and take care of you? And I mean sincerely be worried about you. You can tell in their eyes, are you okay? You need to go see a doctor. That, that caring, which was above and beyond a girl that you dated for two weeks. It's the different for Western and Filipina. Yes, yes. The Filipinas are so caring to their family. So what is the darkest lie in the Philippine, uh, with the Filipina that you already encountered and that you want to avoid? Okay, the darkest lie a Filipina can tell you, to me, is when they say, and, and this would be a single mother, when she say the, the father's dead or the father has deserted us. And then you find out the father lives in the next barangay yeah. or just down the street. They might be broken up. They might not be together anymore. But just that they have to say, you know, that he's dead or gone and they're not. And many girls will date a, a Westerner when he comes here, knowing that he's on vacation, knowing that he's here just for a month or two. And they'll hide their husband or their boyfriend to get a financial stake in, in that foreigner. You know, get some money when he leaves, get some support. It's a terrible thing. There's, there's many girls who are on the dark side, but there's many foreigners on the dark side also. Yeah, it's not only one side. Yeah, of you come here and you promise this girl, oh yeah, we'll be together forever. Ever. I'm going back to States. But they we'll never talk. Come back. And then they block you on Facebook. So it goes both ways. And of course, some like, if the Filipinos said that they are not married, but then at all, they really are married. Yes, I think that, that marriage one is such a, is, is a tough situation. A woman could be married, and the guy deserted her for 10 years. And she has to walk around with that stigma that she's married still. And that's the fault of the Catholic Church here, and that's the fault of, of the politicians not giving the women the right to get a divorce when they've been deserted. I'm not saying they go to court to, like we do back in the States, divorce over everything. But if a guy deserts his child, his wife, for a period of time, no support, no contact, the woman should be able to divorce him without a large cost and a large burden to her. It's really hard to get divorced here in the Philippines. Yeah, I really believe you can't. Because uh, the financial yeah. cost is so Very great. Expensive, yeah. You know, you just pretend you're not married. That's it. So, which advice you could give to the foreigner who want to live here or retire here in the Philippines? My advice to you is come here. Many guys write me, Mike, I want to meet a girl, introduce me to somebody. Here's my contact information, tell them to contact me. No, I'm not a dating service. If you want to meet a Filipina, come, come here, here in person. Yeah. Get on a plane, take a two week vacation, a month vacation, one year. Situate yourself here in the Philippines. Enjoy your life in the country of the Philippines. And you'll find a girl. I'm not saying tomorrow or the next day, but all come. men end up finding a woman somewhere, sometime. Yeah. So come here in person. And experience the beauty of Filipinas. <laughs> the, the beauty of the Filipinas, yes. The beauty of the Filipinas, not the Philippines. Both. <laughs> it's, so. it's both. And, 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 you know, I know you're having fun with this. You're cute and you're a beautiful girl. But if you don't like the Philippines, if you don't like the dogs barking or the roosters roosting, or the hot weather, or the salt water, then you're not going to like the Philippines, and no matter who you end up with, you're not going to like. If you like the country of the Philippines, you like, you like the lifestyle of the Philippines, then you'll find somebody to incorporate into your life, and you'll have an enjoyable life.
That's true. So, what changed your life when you met Miss Janet? What changed my life? Oh my God. Uh, Janet fulfilled something that's been missing for many years. Not just as she my girlfriend, but she's my companion, she's my best friend. Everything we do, it's me and Janet. Very, very rarely will you ever see me and Janet not being right there. And we hang out together, we, we fight together, we, we love together, we laugh together. We're just a couple, and she has a son. The son is very important, a major part of her life. Her family's important to her, but me and her are always together. You're not going to find me at ground zero without Janet there with me. So you're always, yeah, that's really um, wonderful if you always have beside I wish I can do that also. I know. It's, it's hard when you're in life. That day will happen. That, you're, you're so much young. You're so young that these days will happen to you. Janet's one thing when we go somewhere, even though she has her own motorbike, I'm on your back. I go, where are we going today? I'm on your back. Wherever you go, I go. You know, so. That's sweet. Sana all. <laughs> thank you so much, Mr. Mike, for oh, having here again. With thank me. you for being with me. I love being on your channel. We don't do it enough. See you guys. <laughs> See you, Tinkles. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Mr. Mike. You're welcome. I need to make it short because there's another one who is prepared. <laughs> I have to get some water. <laughs>